Have I mentioned how much better coffee tastes on the trail? Well, you know, at least the uh, instant I have to drink when I'm out here. Really nice night. I did have critters running around. I could hear a uh, deer huffing at me when I was getting water last night, and I think just squirrels running around in the leaf litter out here. But it's really nice to be, you know, back on trail proper again. And today is Saturday, meaning this is uh, Tater's Day. It is also my last visit by Taters. It just doesn't make sense for her to do the big drive uh, as I get closer to Monterey. So I'll meet her today. She'll hike with me till tomorrow. Whoa, I'll get leaves in my coffee. And uh, then she will load me up with enough food to hopefully get me through this last section, rough bits and all. Because uh, the last 40 miles or so uh, that I did last time as the first 40 miles had some rather rough bushwhacks. Ah, uh, my old friend, the Yield Road. So happy you're behind me. So as of this morning, I have about 110 miles left of this thing. And of that, about 80-ish I actually saw last time when I tried to go southbound before the initial COVID closure uh, ended up blocking me. They were actually patrolling the backcountry and booting people off trails and all the access roads for resupplies were shut down. It was an odd time. I am going to have to rehab my feet for a couple of days. I honestly don't know why that road walk was so hard on me. I'm starting to come to the conclusion that these Olympuses just are a little too weak um, right on the ball of the foot for road walks. So we'll see. Uh, I don't have any more on this trail, but I may have to see about swapping to something a little more burly when I go do like the Natchez Trace and stuff like that. Or just deal with the pain for the initial, you know, however long until my feet toughen up. Though, that's why I did in Florida and that's why I did in this time. And that kind of, you know, sucks. Keep in mind, I have about 6,000 miles on these shoes and they have worked better and more consistently than anything else I've found. It really sucks having problematic feet and, you know, problematic everything else. It was actually a really warm night until the wind picked up right around sunup. Then all of a sudden the temperature dropped and I was wishing I had my gloves. Damn, maybe I should have camped out here. Better view for coffee. Just see the light is the best way to walk. Ah, seen plenty of evidence of cows, but there they are. So this has been roads and cow trails. But unfortunately, the uh, roads are hard packed with all these little rocks, so I've gone down multiple times. It's like walking across ball bearings. Okay, fair enough. And it's back to deciding between cow trails. Still just really enjoying the quiet though. Not much of a trail, just side hilling through cow lands. Okay, I seem to have caused a bit of a stampede here. <laughs> This is where we said we'd meet. So stop me if you've heard this before. Three o'clock, I'm at the meeting point and there is no taters. I just had a stroke of very good luck because those fine people have been coming up the trail and ran into somebody about an hour ago saying that she was out looking for Matt. 
Jen got up to where we were supposed to meet, waited for some number of hours, and obviously wigged out and ran down. And I've just been going slow because, you know, <laughs> feet are shot. It's only three o'clock. <sighs> oh well, so I'm gonna, I've uh, in reached her both that I was here and then after running into those folks that I was heading down. So worst case, if she completely wigs out and goes down to cell reception, she'll uh, know what I'm doing. That's why I hate backcountry rendezvous. Ah, uh, yet another day on the Condor Trail. My uh, feet aren't doing too great. The uh, fly of my pants busted and this pole gave out again. So this is the route I'd be doing anyway, though. Honestly, if Jen had been waiting for me at that camp, I was going to probably stay there. My knee is hurting after the road walk. Basically, I was walking funny because of the bottoms of my foot, and that usually tends to throw my knee out of whack. So I'll be able to walk through it. I just don't want to push it and do an unreasonable amount of miles and set myself back. So my guess here is Jen expected me a lot early here and went down and then drove her car to someplace with reception. Um, at which point she'll get my messages, realize she left ahead of me, and hopefully be waiting at the trailhead. Well, there's Jen's car. in the haze, really. We've got water. We're just stuck in a section with absolutely no tenting options. And my feet and knees are killing me. I'm really ready to stop. I've done about 15 miles and the better part of 4,500 feet up and down today. I don't think I've ever seen a sunset that's a column like that. Jen thinks she might have found something down here. I'll settle for pretty much anything that we can actually fit on.